Hey guys, it's just me Lance again. I've got to be quiet and kids are asleep. Uh, tonight's video is titled Small Time Scammers. The ones that I don't mention very often. You know me, I like to go after the scammers getting the maximum amount of donations. The people grifting uh, the most amount of money off their, you know, their poor followers on the Facebook. But anyway, I've got a lot of downtime. Obviously my Facebook's down on the band. Uh, so I'll get this video out of the way because a lot of people inbox me with all these names and, and their, their uh, GoFundMe accounts and Lance, call this guy, call that guy. Like, I'm only one person. Anyway, but tonight, um, for popular demand, I've written down a list of all the scammers that you asked me to talk about. So I'm just going to go through the list. And uh, I like doing this, even though views are pitiful at the moment, I know that these people are going to see it. And um, so this video is more, more so just for them. Because I know as soon as I mention any of the scammers' names, they're going to watch it, though they're already following and they watch it or one of their scamming friends tags them in it or sends it to them. But uh, yeah, the scammers watch my content more than anybody. So even though it's only one or 200 views, I'll do it anyway. Just to keep the pressure on these scammers, let them know. And, um, and I've had a bit of an epiphany. Like the small time scammers, they're great because they say the most absurd, absurd uh, stuff. And it kind of diminishes the, uh, the content of the big time scammers, you know, because it makes people think, well, hang on a minute. All these other people are saying the similar sort of narrative and they're fucking nut jobs. You know, like other, none other than um, Teresa. I mean, you look at Teresa, she's preaching similar narrative to the professional scammers and activists or whatever you call them. And it makes people think, well, hang on a fucking minute. We've got nut jobs saying all this sort, same sort of stuff. And it diminishes them. And the big time scammers, they also mingle with those, those nut jobs at all the protests and, you know, they, they're involved with them. So it puts them in that same bracket and tars them with the same brush. And it makes people start waking up. So the small time scammers with all the absurd, absurd claims trying to say that uh, the virus is fake or doesn't exist and all these type of things and PCR tests and all these, you know, ridiculous things that they preach, it, it diminishes the, all of the activists and most of all the top ones. So I love the guys. But anyway, let me go through my list of all the top, the small time scammers. Who we got? Max Egan, small time scammer, obviously. Peter Little, um, I call him a small-time scammer because he doesn't get a lot of money. Um, so he goes in, sorry, Peter, but you have to go into the small-time scammer bracket. Although you did just manage to get, I priced it up about, probably about 12 or 13 grand to get a serviced office. So that was pretty good, but I'd like you to move out of that office tomorrow, today being Sunday. Uh, I want you out of that office tomorrow because I think it's dangerous. Uh for my loved ones. So can you please go to another office ASAP? Anyway, um, what do you call it? So you got Max Egan, Peter Little, uh, Matt Lawson. Um, yeah, he's a small time scammer. He hasn't got much money. Uh, he can't even afford to shower by the looks of him. Uh, I know he does work with Serene. He was gathering donations for Serene. And that sort of hurt Serene because that turned a lot of, actually it was Matt Lawson that first turned a lot of um, Serene's followers to me and they were inboxing me because Matt was taking the $250 off him and saying yeah, yeah we'll get Serene to help uh, and then when nothing happened or they never got to speak to Serene and they got no correspondence that made them disgruntled and then they were inboxing me uh, so that was good so Matt Lawson actually hurt Serene's cause uh, in my opinion well because of all the people that inboxed me uh, and there was even some people um, that you got that didn't have nothing to do with the Rona uh, people that uh, had loved ones that died of other causes and you were trying to get him to come in on the one of you, one of Serene's fake corona class actions. So you, you burned a lot of people for those $250 donations, Matt. So you didn't do yourself any favours. And anyway, and then all the sexual uh, harassment allegations against you, <laughs> that didn't help Matt, Matt Lawson. So that wasn't a smart move to sexually, um, sexually uh, harass women in the movement. They're obviously going to inbox Lucky Lance and tell me about it. Do you know what I mean? And uh, so that wasn't a smart move, Matt. And um, anyway, I offered to you in another video. I said, Matt, you know, get your act together. I'll get you in the gym, get you in shape. Maybe get a haircut and stuff. Maybe have a shower and, you know, just go on Tinder and get a normal one. But anyway, um, then you've got, uh, now, you got Jackie Dundee, <clears throat> another small time scammer. Uh Obviously, Mel, I don't say much about Mel. She's very dangerous, volatile. You know, she's the type to make false allegations to police, shit like that. She's 
she's a worry. She's a worry. You know what I mean? Very dangerous individual. Uh, very keen to throw around wild accusations against anybody that goes against a narrative. And she's really keen on hurting small business that go against her narrative. So she's a dangerous one. RJ Martin, definitely small time scammer, doesn't get a lot of money. I think he might have got a few grand from a GoFundMe the once. Um, but yeah, he's definitely a small time scammer. He only managed to get a few grand for all his efforts and he's got a Juris Doctorate. So he's actually been to university and studied law. And uh, so big fail for RJ. You're on the small time scammers list. Uh, who else? At um, Yeah, the one that's always wearing the uh, Versace shops. I just found out his name, Jeff O'Toole. Now, he goes on the small time scammers list because um, he's just rubbish. He's pathetic and he, um, what do you call it? He doesn't get a lot of money. He doesn't have a lot of money. He wears a fake Versace shirt. And uh, uh, as you know, I would know. <laughs> I can spot one a mile away. So he wears a fake Versace shirt on his videos to try to look flamboyant and maybe look like he's successful or something, but it's fucking pathetic. We couldn't all tell you got it off um, from China off one of those sites, old Jeff O'Toole. And the more you look into Jeff O'Toole, he's got, um, what do you call it? He's uh, on his, um, one of those sites, he's got, uh, he's a jet, jet on model, whatever the site's called. If you look him up, uh, he's trying to be an actor. He says he's an actor, model. I don't know where he's getting model from, uh, movie extra. So just like many of the other scammers, even ones I can't mention, if you look into their past, like Thanos, game shows, TV shows, anything they can. So they've been trying to get famous for the whole time. You know what I mean? And they've just grabbed the hold of the corona and their followers are just too dumb or too naive to, to realise that this has got nothing to do with the corona. This is about them getting their profile out there. That... I support, like, good on you. If you're always trying to be in a movie extra, trying to get famous, trying to be successful, you got to, you're ambitious and you like that, you want to be a journalist or you want to be just noticed, you want attention, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I don't I have no problem with that. Uh, to, I, I try and get a bit of attention myself, don't I? Of course I do. So there's no problem with that. That's ambition. That's good. That's, that's But when you uh, fail at getting onto any of the game shows you applied for and you fail, you know, like Jeff O'Toole, you know, to be a model and an actor and a singer and all, everything he claims to be. When that fails, uh, and then you see um, the corona is quite a hot topic, and then you grab a hold of that uh, and then end up and just lie the whole time and run this narrative just for attention and donations and notoriety and fame, uh, that's when Lucky Land steps in and goes, uh, 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 that's wrong, I'm going to call you out. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to pick on you, I'm going to call you out, I'm going to expose you, I'm going to pick apart all of your videos, pick apart all your crowdfunding scams. I'm going to get help uh, to understand it and then I'm going to expose it any way I can. And I don't just do, do that on the social media. I, I'm regularly talking to journalists um, and um, building a little myself a little network of people uh, who are like-minded and want to um, expose these people um, online. Now, the word for it is for their victims or followers, whichever you'd like to call them, Stockholm Syndrome. That's what's going on here, you know, because I was just asking my learned friend, how come people can't see? Like, even when uh, they get caught outlying some of these activists, the people still they have this blind faith and unconditional loyalty. And I was like, I just, you know, what's the psychology behind that? I, I, I call it denial. I've been calling it, it must have been some sort of state of denial. Uh, one of my learned friends was talking about Stockholm Syndrome. So she, she was saying um, it must be Stockholm Syndrome. I was like, and I looked it up. I was like, yeah. Okay, that's what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with Stockholm Syndrome. And um, anyway, now, but back to Jeff O'Toole. Uh, he does speak well. Jeff, I know you're watching. Uh, I like the way you talk. You do long videos. There's not many ums and ahs. You talk much better than Lucky Lance, obviously. Uh, so you've been at this for a while. Uh, I mean, you're a grifter. You've just grabbed hold of this because your, your modeling, singing, acting career went nowhere. Um, and... You just, you know, you, you just grabbed onto whatever you could. Hot Topic, Rona, and you just jumped on the bandwagon. Uh, and you seem very passionate. You're reasonably well, like pretty well spoken in the videos, as I said. You know, so give a bit of credit. But sorry, you have to go on the small time scammers list, list Jeff, because you're pathetic. You don't make fuck all money. You wear a fake Versace shirt in your videos to look cool. But then you don't even fix up your appearance, Jeff. Like, for fuck's sake, Jeff. Your face is all fucking weird. Uh, you got your weird goatee sometimes, sometimes you're clean shaven, you got the weird goatee like a bong head from the 90s, the fucking ponytail. 
Jeff, like with a head like yours, like you got to do something about your appearance. And you I mean you should know this. You've trained. You've done acting school. Like you should know that appearance is important. And with a mug like yours, you want to grow a beard. You want to grow yourself a beard. You got fucking hectic acne scarring and whatnot. So you want to grow yourself a beard, but a nice even beard. Go to the barber every week. Get a cutthroat. Get it shaped right. Dye it if you have to. If you got, you know, bald patches, maybe put some fucking boot polish or something. But fix up your fucking beard, get it looking sharp, yeah, Jeff? And your hair, you got a fucking ponytail. Like you did say, you got to be a bong head for sure. You got the classic bong head look, the goatee and the fucking ponytail. But get your hair done nice, part your hair to the side, grow a nice even beard, right, manicured. Um, you know, enough with the fucking fake Versace shirts, it's pathetic. Um, clean your act up. Like you should know this, mate, that appearance is important uh, for what you're trying to achieve. So you've dropped the ball there, Jeff. But look, even if you did that, I don't think, even though, like I said, you're well-spoken, you're not going to get anywhere, mate. You know, Corona's going to die off. You know, you've got to diversify. You've got to think of something else. But, uh, but Jeff, um, yeah, you go on the small-time scammers list. Sorry, mate. But even though you are quite well-spoken, I mean, I've seen your videos. You can talk for a long length of time without a stutter or an arm or an R like Lucky Lance. So, you know, you're good. But, yeah, like I just said, you've got a lot of downfalls, which I just listed jeff and if you don't like what i'm saying you don't like this video jeff do something about it you know you want to go get an ivo everyone else does go get yourself an ivo jeff fucking idiot all right matt lawson did i mention that matt lawson he, he goes on this oh no i've already said matt lawson ah no matt lawson's trying to say he's got a he's that he's a psychic but you must have just seen my video with my where i admitted that i was a psychic and i have a crystal ball which is what it's allowed me to make so many predictions. And, mate, if I listed all the predictions I've made in the last year, mate, you'd actually think I was psychic. All right, I, I'm not actually psychic, believe it or not, which is funny. I've got to watch it because I make a lot of jokes. And I think people can tell when I'm joking, when I'm being serious, when I'm it's tongue-in-cheek, when I'm being sarcastic. I figured people can tell, but I see the comments and people can't always tell. I just had a journalist asking, oh, does Lance, because, uh, you know, journalists talk and then they want to, reach out to Lucky Lance, but they've heard rumours. Like, but does he reckon he's a psychic? And someone, a friend of mine, just had to explain to the journalist, no, that was a joke. So uh, maybe that's a compliment to my acting skills, but I figured people should know when I'm being sarcastic. But anyway, back to what I was saying about Matt Lawson. So he's trying to say that he's psychic. Fucking like maniac. He's not psychic. He's just a scant little grifter with hardly any money. He's working now with Peter Little and Serene. And, uh, anyway... Uh, no, fortune teller, he reckons. He's a fortune teller. No, Lucky Lance is a fortune teller. Look, I can't think of them all right now, but I predicted so many things I predicted. Some of the things I can't say at the moment for legal reasons, but I predicted that Serene would lose her practicing certificate. Sure enough, she did. I predicted that she'd never run a class action. I predicted that her class actions had no legal merit, which is why she was the only lawyer speaking up. Not because she's the only lawyer with the balls, because the only lawyer stupid enough to bring up these uh, claims uh, for the class action that had no basis in law whatsoever. But you all chose not to believe me and keep donating money to her. So anyway, I predicted she'd be disbarred. She's been disbarred. I predicted straight away, as soon as she was disbarred, I predicted that she would come out with a narrative that she was fighting the government so the government used corruption to get rid of her because she uncovered corruption. Bang, next day she fucking did that. Like, there's a prediction. Then the next day I did a video, I'm on a Facebook ban, I filmed it. Someone, it's been shared around. It's in the dark right outside. I said, here's my next prediction. After I watched Serene, as soon as I watched Serene's video, what she said about the lady from the Legal Services Board, I said, mark my words, they'll litigate against her now. Bang. Literally, the next day, the Legal Service Board uh, sued her in the court. They lodged the documents, right? That one wasn't hard to predict. It was an obvious defamation. And when you talk like that about the Legal Services Board, they're obviously going to litigate straight away. So anyway, there's that prediction. Uh, what other predictions were there? Many, many other predictions all come true a million percent at... Um, what do you call it? You know, the worst of all is I, I predicted that they're going to run this narrative that Serene is still the victim here, not the perpetrator, and the government have been corrupt to get rid of her. And sure enough, that's what everyone's saying. Now they're trying to petition the courts to give her back a certificate, which is bullshit because the courts don't have the power to do that. Uh, and she's also, and then I predicted as well that she's under investigation uh, for fraud-related offences. I won't go into detail, but I predicted she's under investigation, right? Now, that hasn't come out yet. Um uh, but I'm saying it right here, right now. You watch when the charges start coming. And not because of bloody corruption. So, guys, at what point do you think it's corruption, 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 then this happened, corruption, corruption? Like, at what point does the Stockholm Syndrome finish and you realise, actually, no, Serene's just a crook? 
at what point? Anyway, stay tuned. I think the best chance is when Serene's, or if Serene ends up uh, being found guilty, then all the plea material will come out and all the details and the evidence in the case, and then that will be like in the paper, and then everyone will read that, and once they see the evidence, maybe then a lot of people are going to wake up. But there will be some people that have got the Stockholm Syndrome and are in the state of denial that will just never never believe, that they could never let themselves believe that Serene's a crook. Just like the catfishing, people get catfished, and they just can't allow themselves to believe that they got stooped, you know, duped that badly. Uh, so there will be some people that will just stay in that state of denial for the whole life. And that's sad. That's sad. Look, there's plenty of things wrong to be upset about. Uh, but the things that the scammers, uh, activists that are telling you is not the case. So there's enough to worry about already. And now we've got probably a few million people in Australia worried about things that don't exist. You know, the like the, the government's... Uh, like I don't, I'm, not, I'm not saying I agree with the government's actions, but... To say that lockdowns are unlawful and unconstitutional and everyone's running around with the constitution. You're all misrepresenting it. Don't try to understand the law. There's thousands of laws. They're all intertwined with each other and you'll never understand them. Some lawyers don't understand them. And so us law lay people, we don't have a chance. But, you know, it allows all the conspiracy theorists and fake activists to grab a hold of it and manipulate it. It's very easy to manipulate the law. Anyway, I'm fucking rambling now. Let me get back to my list. Just mind, bear with me. So Jeff O'Toole... Lizzie Rose, she goes on the small time scammers list because she doesn't make a lot of money. She's quite talented, you know what I mean? She's uh, she is quite talented. You see, she puts, uh, she's got a lot of uh, enthusiasm in her videos, and you know, uh, she seems very uh, she seems uh, very passionate. And uh, she goes on the small time scammers list. Rafael Fernandez, I've seen his videos. He's getting better and better. He's quite well spoken. Uh, good on you, Raf. But you're a scam and low life rat. You know it, and I know it. You know I know it. But he's, you know, ones like that, he'll, pro he'll probably grow even further before he comes undone. He, clever little clever little rat, that one, Raphael. And Nate. Who's Nate? Nate Max. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Nate Max, but he gets on the list. And then you've got Teresa. <clears throat> now, hang on. All right, so you've got Jackie Dundee. She's hysterical. She's pretty much the same as um, Teresa. Jackie Dundee, Jackie Dundee, Raven Lunatic. And uh, Teresa, you never heard me say a word about Teresa. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, she's not in the same bracket. She's pumping out misinformation. Um, but I don't see her asking for money. Oh, now that I've made this video, I'll probably see someone send me one of her GoFundMe accounts. That always happens. <laughs> um because I don't know how to search GoFundMe for all the accounts. I wish someone could get all the GoFundMe accounts for legal fees and put them all in the same like page or same post and post it up. We could all share it around. Because then people would say, well, hang on a minute. How can there be 35 people at the moment crowdfunding for legal fees to fight the government and nothing's gone to court, right? And then some of these GoFundMe accounts to fight the government, if you scroll down, you look at the bottom, they're like, yeah, we need the money to find great lawyers to fight the government over masks or something. It's like, fuck, these people haven't even spoke to a lawyer yet and they've already got the GoFundMe account which is ridiculous, right? Because if they actually went to a lawyer, first the lawyer would say, well, it's got no merit, and then they wouldn't have the account. So, you know, some lunacy going on here. Uh, but back to um, Teresa, I spoke, I can't pronounce her last name. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about. So I spoke to her. Uh, I don't see her crowdfunding. And the thing with her is, I think she actually believes what she's saying. Like most of the other scammers, um, they know they're lying, right? Even the big ones, like they know they're lying. Some of the bigger ones that I can't say, are sitting at home laughing every time they upload a video that people are going to believe it. Um, anyway, even videos about me, you know what I mean? Completely false, but fucking sounds believable. And they find that funny. They find it funny to, you know, some of these scammers are evil, yeah? Really evil. Anyway, but Teresa, I think she believes what she says and I think she's actually like cooked because I spoke to her on the phone once uh, for a good 20, 30 minutes and this, what she told me about being held in captive by the government and government planning stuff in her brain and the things that she said, it was scary. Like the conversation was scary and I just tried to be polite, right? I just tried to be polite. I just agreed with her. I didn't fucking challenge her on nothing. I was just really polite. We spoke about a few of the other activists. Um, she was pretty vocal on them. Um, but what she told me about being probed and in prison in some secret uh, government prison and all these things that had happened to her, but, you know, with no, nothing, no paperwork, nothing on the record, and heaps of other claims about, um, you know, the fake virus and all these types of things. It was fucking scary. And I felt like I was talking to someone, um, you know, who's like, 
struggling upstairs and so I, and from that point onwards that was maybe six months ago i thought i'm not picking on her because she's actually fucking nuts and she actually believes what she's saying now i just broke that because i'm speaking about her now i know she's watching she'll do a big rant probably and uh, um what do you call it now it's because of now the thing is it's the people like Teresa that rant and rave the most ridiculous things i mean i think she's saying she's self-appointed governor general now like so there you go you can there's a proof of what i just said at I heard on the phone call with her, absolute lunacy. If you see her content, you'll know exactly what you know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The, the things that come out of her mouth are absurd. She's a self-appointed like a governor general now of Australia and all sorts of things. But what all these small-time scammers do, I love it because they raised out on the professional scammers. The professional ones have got their own channels and big followings and big donation pool. Um, when you've got 30, 40 other raving lunatics. Uh, on the Facebook preaching a similar message, right? But you can actually tell they're fucking nuts or you can actually tell they're full of shit or their videos are real shit. Not as shit as Lucky Lancers, but pretty shit. Um, you know, like Jeff O'Toole, look at, look at the guy. Uh, it diminishes the professional scammers' efforts. Also, there's so much numbers and eventually people start to think, well, hang on a fucking minute. There's 40 of these people on Facebook preaching a similar shit and asking for money at the same time. So that's going to make people wake up. Do you know what I mean? They're going to, um, uh, you know, the common denominator, they're going to go, well, this is very looking very similar, you know. So, and I think, I actually reckon uh, those top top tier, top three, four scammers, I reckon they probably hate all these small time scammers. They must hate them because it's just diminishing their work. When you've got all these rave and lunatics talking absolute conspiracy nonsense, and these people are in the same basket. They go to the, you know, they, they link up with them. Sometimes they go to the same protest. They sometimes do a video with them. I think it diminishes the whole movement with all these shit scammers like the ones I just mentioned. So I'll keep them going. Anyway, I hope you like Lucky Lance's uh, evaluation of small time scammers. Fuck, this is a long video. No one's going to watch it for 22 minutes. But to the people, uh, this is just for the people that ask me always to talk about these people. So you're welcome. Here's my video for the pff, few dozen people that love watching my videos. So you're welcome. Thanks very much. But most of all, this video is for the people on this list and all the other big time scammers, all the big time scammers. Um, I just make this video for you because I know you're watching my content. I think the scammers watch my content more than anybody I'm watching it and uh, looking for things to cut and paste and using court and all sorts of stuff. Oh, I've given you some good material today. There are a lot of stupid videos, said a lot of stupid things that you can try and go and tell a judge that's threatening or you can, whatever lies you want to make up. Do what you like. Enjoy. Screenshot. Let's go to court because Lucky Lance loves going to court. Let's do this. All right. See you guys.